Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make three different meals with common household ingredients. So the first one is kind of like a potato pancake. So you're going to need your potatoes, onions, and carrots. And you're going to start shredding them into a bowl. Carrots are what I have in my household right now, but if you have turnips, that works too. And if you're going to shred the onion, make sure it has the root at the end of it so it shreds nicely or else it's just going to fall all over the place. But I did have a bit of an older onion I forgot about in the fridge, which is what I'm chopping up right now. So this is what your mixture should look like. You're going to see that I am trying to use paper towels to squeeze everything out. You want to get this as dry as possible since we're trying to get a more crispy edge but the paper towels are breaking so i switched over to my microfiber cloth and i threw some salt on and mixed it around to help sweat out the juices and i'm continuing to twist and squeeze as I much can. out of those vegetables You can add whatever seasonings you like. I always have to add garlic powder and onion powder into everything, but you're gonna need an egg and some flour. So I'm gonna start out with a quarter of a cup, but you're gonna see me go in and increase the amount every so often, just until you get a consistency that binds together really well. I'm just using the measuring cup from earlier to help me form some patties, but you really don't have to do this. So it's been about 8 minutes so far. My pan is a little too hot, so you're going to see me turn it down. So far it still has the consistency that I like and I'm just adding some butter to add more flavor. So you're just going to repeat that process, but you can always change the recipe to how you like it. I know some people add cheese even, which sounds great, but I just didn't do it today. You can serve these as is, or I personally like these with ketchup, but I know when I was a child, I absolutely loved these with syrup. And I hope you give these a try because every culture has their own version of a potato pancake and they're really delicious. So if you are a mom, nine times out of 10, you have chicken nuggets or some sort of chicken product stashed into your freezer. And so today we're going to be making chicken wraps. So whatever chicken you have, you're just going to bake that or even microwave it if you want to be lazy. Um, <laughs> but if you use the flavored wings, it obviously is um, a little bit better than just the plain chicken nuggets, but you can always add your own sauces at the end of it. Here I'm just trying to show you the prices of um, the products. So only paid like a dollar for the bag of carrots and a dollar 49 for all of those jalapenos like they're freaking cheap so um and every meal you're gonna see i'm using carrots today this is real budget friendly stuff guys i'm just adding some mayo to my tortilla but you can leave it plain even if you're trying to restrict on calories but you're gonna see that I definitely overstuffed this, so um, maybe take it easy if you want to be able to fold it up all the way, but I don't mind. And 
this is such a quick and easy meal to do and even if you don't have chicken in your freezer you can use canned chicken or even tuna this is a great way to use up random things you still have left in your fridge and now we are on to dinner time and we're gonna make orange chicken from a can yes a can so I'm just going to start off by cooking my rice and steaming some of those carrots from earlier. I also just wanted to add, this is my favorite chicken bouillon, if I happen to be out of chicken stock. This is the can of chicken I will be using today. It is, of course, pre-cooked, so really all we're focused on today is just frying the batter. So you can make sure to preheat your oil on high. Once your chicken is all dry and patted off, we're going to move on to making the batter. You're going to start with adding some baking soda and all the spices that you like. If you like a little bit of heat, you're going to see I'm adding cayenne right there. And don't forget to add a little bit of sugar. I almost did, about a teaspoon. Um, but the main ingredient here is cornstarch and flour. You can add about half a cup of cornstarch and about a quarter of a cup of flour. Just make sure um, if you eyeball it, you just have more cornstarch than you do flour. When you do add the water, about a quarter of a cup, make sure it's cold. So you can see I'm about to add an egg to help bind everything together pretty well. Now, because the chicken is pretty much shredded, you don't want this to be a very liquidy batter. You can see it's kind of um, sticky but still holding its shape somewhat. And you can always add more if you wanted to, but as long as you can scoop it up and it's not like pouring out, that's good enough to fry it in. I'm trying to go for more pantry friendly ingredients so this is what I had in my pantry and I usually make it myself but um, you can see me adding a few things to kind of like spruce it up but if you want to go above and beyond and make your own sauce and you don't know you can just google it it'll honestly be faster than me making a video the biggest thing you absolutely must do is when you take your chicken out set it aside let it cool off and make sure you double fry so you're going to take the same chicken and put it back in again because that will give you the crisp that you need and that will seriously do wonders to this canned chicken
Now I'm just mixing it into the simmer down sauce and it's super sticky and delicious because I added some of um, the spices that I like. I personally top mine with a little bit of sriracha, but if you guys try any of these recipes, I hope it's this one, and definitely let me know if you do, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.